Hello friends, today I'm here to show you a model of the urinary system or the excretory system. So it's not something like that, alright? Anything you can say, urinary system, and that's fine with me. So I'm going to start and go ahead. So here I'm going to tell you the components about the bo this system. There, like, like you know about the kidneys, there's kidneys obviously. There's the, there's, so here this big one right here is the uh, big red artery right this is the red artery and this is the blue artery this is just it, this is different colors but it's just like a, it's, it's my design but it doesn't matter and this is the uterus like this tube right here this is the uterus and this is what it represents when when we if you want to like i didn't want to put water so if you, if you want to do this model that's fine and this is where you um pour like like that urea and i'll talk about that later is where it goes through the uterus and then comes to the bladder where it holds that until you go to the bathroom and when it's time all right and now i'm going to explain how it how we get the pee or the urine all right so first when you eat food you eat food and it gets to your esophagus to the uh, stomach and it takes all those nutrients, compounds, proteins, I like all those things. But mainly we're going to talk about proteins and carbohydrates, all right? They, they absorb, the bloodstream, or the blood, I mean, the blood absorbs those uh, nutrients, proteins, and carbohydrates. But proteins and carbohydrates, we're going to mainly talk about that. It gets to the bloodstream, but it comes to the liver. The liver is where it conducts all the uh, waste products to which side? The digestive side or the urinary side, alright? That's that's how it goes when and they have the enzymes that break down bonds and like I said, we're gonna talk about the proteins and carbohydrates. Proteins ha is the formation of amino acids while carbohydrates is the formation of glucose. They all some they need to have something that will be the waste product when they when they are broken down. They need to have this compound called NH3, which is um, the, not amino acid, ammonia, which is very toxic because if it reacts with water, then it turns into ammonium hydroxide, which can damage our cells. So we need to make it less toxic by, um, the compound is called methylene, methylene chloride, yeah, methylene chloride. So I, I, for, I somehow forgot about that, but I got it back. Methylene chloride, when the enzyme breaks that methylene chloride, it breaks two products, methylene and chloride, all right? Methylene is what we're going to concentrate. The methylene co combines with the am uh, ammonia and creates the thing, like I said before, when it gets down to the uh, bladder, that's urea. Now, the, ur the, the arteries takes that urea to the waste product because the liver conducts that urea will go to the urinary system all right so the bloodstream takes that urea to the bloodstream and then gets to the kidneys now the kidneys what it does is take some of the um urinary ur the waste products like urea sodium also so salt because we we need to regulate the chemicals which is like i said that's the livers but the kidneys will take some of take some of the salts water and urea like i said and then when it's done, it gets to it gets to the bladder, and then the urea will will come to the outside world, or you mean, or you can say to the toilet. All right, the others will just go to the uh, uh the veins, like because there is these connect connecting wi like not like wires, but like well, tubes of this passage called nephrons. Nef nephrons will take some of the others, like in the inside the kidney. And what it does is we'll take the waste products only and regulates the chemicals. And then they'll have some time to take some other things that are very good for the body and then takes back to the veins and releases the other waste products sometimes. Sometimes they, it gets back to the veins and all those things and to our bodies and releases that it, oxygen. And yeah, that's how the urinary system works. So I hope you enjoy my model, and if you want to do this model, there's a uh, video that I'll link in the description below, and you can see it. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!